Hi, I'm Susie, and Debbie from Clear Jelly Stamper is back to introduce her new stamping plates for Christmas. Wait till you see what we do with Christmas stampers. Let's get started. Well, I can't wait to get started. So one thing I've done is I put a pillow or a towel down, so we need to change that. Debbie has come up with these beautiful, what do you call them, plates? Mats. Mats. Silicone mats. Just oh. feel free. Yeah, that's what we do. That was fun. It is, isn't it? <laughs> okay, so we're gonna line these up together. And we just, oh, oh, I guess I didn't clean the last time. That's okay, we can do that. Okay, so you got two different patterns, which is really cute. Okay. There you go. Beautiful. So obviously Debbie and I have, being a nail technician, you've been doing it for about 25 years, I think you said? Nails? Mm, yes. I'm into about 30. But we also have Christmas in common. I found her favorite holiday is Christmas. So she's got these beautiful new Christmas stamping plates and she thought it'd be a great idea to come out and we'll put them together. These are beautiful. So I kind of was noticing your snowflakes. Oh, and they're I, so pretty. Everybody knows that I love snowflakes. And this one's really cute too. So maybe we'll we'll just put these ones over here for a minute. And sure. let's work with these. So we thought we'd go for sort of a frosted kind of light icicle type of Christmas. I've got a white base on, so maybe you could do a couple and show me. Sounds great. So we'll go to the blues. So let's pull out a few of these. You know your colors better than I'll let you pick them. <gasps> That's my favorite. <laughs> One of. One of. White on white. So the reason why I particularly like this company, and when I contacted you, is because I thought it was so unique. I've never seen a jelly stamper. Like, if you guys can just see this, it's totally see-through, right? And that's where we're gonna show you the benefit of this. It's a very unique product. I'm very impressed with it. Thank you. Um, I don't know about you, but I need my glasses. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I mean, we can see, we just can't see the super details. Exactly, that's we right. need those. Okay. All right. So let's, let's do this image here. Okay. And we're going to use these three colors and do almost an ombre. Okay. Okay. So we're going to put the dark in the center and a little bit lighter, a little further out. Now I know you're working with paint. Is there any particular issue on time sensitivity here? You have to move fairly quickly. Mm -hmm. You don't want it to dry out on you, but you've got a little bit of working time. Enough to do this without it drying on you. So we're going to put it part way up the nail, so I'm not going to worry about going all the way around. And then I'm going to scrape away oh, from I it. Oh, I see. Okay. Light scrape. Oh, look at that. Light okay. pick up. And then we're going to position it the top part of the nail. Now that took us a little while, so I'm going to press and hold. Yeah. And hopefully that will transfer. Oh. And now we'll slowly let go. Oh my goodness, look how quick you can get such a detailed design. Isn't that pretty? Yeah. Snowflakes. Even just the combination of the colors there is quite endless what you could do. Yes, very icy. Okay, I'm gonna do some. All right, let's clean okay. it up. I'm just using nail polish remover to clean it. And it's totally okay to use nail polish remover with a little bit of acetone. A little bit of acetone. And let me, let me give a little bit more detail on that. I use nail polish remover with a little bit of acetone to clean my jelly head every time. Now, your jelly will go a little bit cloudy over time doing that, but I use mine every day. Right. It takes and quite it a takes while three or two. four months. Oh, okay. That's so, quite some yeah, time. Yeah, and you do have to replace them once in a while. And because you're a nail technician, you're doing it over and over, over and, and over. And over. And but over you can again. also use this, which yep. some people did recommend that you can. And I do know that I just could never find one of these when I just remember trying to do it real quick. So well, I, and I find I'm chasing mine around the table and it's yeah. sticking to things. Right, but you definitely can use it. And that was a very good tip by some absolutely. of you who recommended that. All right, so do you want to give it a go? Yeah, I do, I do. So um, I guess I can pick other ones absolutely. too, right? Let's do something... I like this one too, right beside it. Beautiful. Okay, and I didn't expect the way you did the colors there. I wasn't, I didn't know you were gonna do it that way. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna do this one just all blue and just half again, because I'm gonna do it on the opposite end. Perfect. See how that looks. And I think I have to go that way. Light scrape. And just a light, light pickup. I cannot believe 
how light of a roll it is. It's very light. It just light. shocks me every time I do it. And I'm gonna go halfway. I'm pressing right into it. I can't believe how far you can press in. Be careful with how Ooh. far. You oh, be want, careful with how far. You don't want to go too far because they are delicate. You could yeah. you could split the jelly. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I even cut a little one there. I didn't even know I you cut. You did. It looked like I'm you did that on purpose. It. I did. I knew Definitely. it. Definitely. I knew it. There's no question. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm just going to clean this up and just cleanly wipe it, which is so easy to do. Now it's primed, and ready to go. Up, clean up the plate. Okay. Maybe I'll just pick a little bit of a smaller one. Or this, I've never seen this edge. See this one? Yeah, it's quite Nordic looking, I thought. Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. Isn't that cute? Very icy. So how did you come up with this amazing idea? For the clear whole, stamper? Yeah, the whole thing. I mean, we've got stampers out there. I find them a little rigid, and I guess that's what you kind of thought. But how did you come up with the clear idea? It's brilliant. I wanted to be able to see, especially as a nail technician. Yeah. I found that I was having to remove images and redo them because they weren't where I wanted them. Yeah. No, so you're with absolutely a, right. a clear stamper, I could do that easily. And from there was born being able to layer. Yeah, that was really And that's smart. what I was really excited about. I just wanted to make mention, too, that Debbie has not paid me to do this. is not a commercial. This is not where she phoned me up and said, hey, do this and pay me. And do. No, that's not what this is about. I found Debbie because I'm a nail technician, and I want to educate and show you guys all the amazing techniques and things we can do. And when I find great product that makes me look good as a nail technician, I want to share it with you guys. That's what my channel is about. And that's why I called you. I'm so glad you did. <laughs> so this other plate that she has is words to songs. Yes. These are Christmas lyrics. songs. Yeah, they're Christmas You songs. really do like Christmas. I really do. Okay, that's really cool. <laughs> okay, so this is, I like the font on this. And what is this song? That's I Want a Hippopotamus for Christmas. Okay, she's got a hippopotamus. We're gonna show you how the layers work. Now this is, I'm gonna do my thumb, to big fat finger. Lots and you always, when you do writing, do you do it so that the client reads it? Or the person that they're showing, like, look at my. This is. Or do you do it? Ongoing, it's an ongoing debate. conversation. Absolutely. Yeah. Nail what techs are do? talking about this all the time. Yeah. I like to do it so that when I'm showing it, people can read it. The person can. That's see what it. I think too. Because I can still turn it and look mm -hmm. at it and enjoy yeah. it. Yeah. Like that. Yeah. Yeah. So I agree. I like to do it that way. We're all different. Though. Yeah. All right. So let's do this guy with a little bit of our angelic white. I use so much more paint than you do because you're going to swipe this way. Aren't I you? am. Yeah. I have things to learn. <laughs> and do people actually read it? Do they try to read it? I believe so. Or they just take your I word know for I it? do. <laughs> That's so cute. And then we'll layer the hippopotamus over top. Okay. What color do we want? I was going to say, what color do we do a hippopotamus? What color is hippopotamus? Kind of a pinky gray, but. For, That's very for, creative. For you see pink and a hippo. It's <laughs> a course. cute hippo. I want to see that one. Okay, yeah. So they could do a pink. So for, for continuity, should we do a, a, a blue one? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Let's do that. If you can't hand draw, stamping is a great thing to do on your nails and still have that super professional, clean, crisp look. That's what I love about it. Not all of us can draw. No, not everybody can. And we're nail technicians. You're not expected to have to draw. So there's our first layer. Yeah. There he is. And now let's give him some detail. I was going to go silver, but I think you're right. I think me. that's way better. <laughs> lined up I was. <laughs> I kind of like it when it's off a little tiny I do bit. a little bit too. It's kind of artistic to yeah. me. So there's our little hippopotamus. That's cute. Okay, so top coating. Um, mm -hmm. If you're doing nail polish, this is nail polish, right? It's yes. a very strong hyper, pigmented. Hyper pigmented nail okay, polish. Okay, that's why I really do like this stamping polish. So if you're going to get stamping polish, you do want it to be quite strongly pigmented. you got a really great It has to be. If you, if you want a clear jelly stamper to pick it up, yeah. it needs to be yeah. a certain that's polish. That's what I've noticed. Yeah. Because this is gel polish, I can put a gel polish on top mm -hmm. and nuke it. Absolutely. But if you're using a nail polish, you can just put a nail polish on top and then you get. But okay. I do find, do you find this, with fast drying nail polish, sometimes it will smear it. 
Absolutely. So you got to wait till it dries a bit? Well, I get questions about that, and there is a solution, and yeah. it's called floating your top coat. So when you put the top coat on, you want a little bubble of your top coat between the bristles mm-hmm. of the brush yeah. and the I armor. didn't know there was a name for that. It's I just call it get enough on your brush <laughs> and glide it across and that I nail. I call it floating. Now it's called floating. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so cool. you make sure that those bristles do not touch the artwork when you're pulling your top coat across. Cool. Okay, well, let's top coat these and get some pictures. I want to see the reveals on these. We have a frozen theme going on here. I think we do too. And look at the mess we make. Is your nail room a mess? It's a fabulous mess. My nail room is a mess in there. When I get in there and make a design, it's a disaster. Well, I'm gonna steal these and take them to my nail room and make more of a mess and have some fun creating some new designs. Thank you for joining me, Debbie. I really appreciate it. Thank you for having me. We'll see you guys again in the next video.